Hi Laura, it's Jeff. Just a quick video here to show you uh, an example of merge conflict handling in GitHub. You were asking about that earlier, so I'll just show you a quick example. So here I've got uh, two windows. I'm working with the same repository, but you I'm working in different directories and with different Git users. So let's just see what happens. I'm going to create a person class. Just quickly create public class person set last name okay so we've got that now um, obviously this guy doesn't have it yet because we haven't uploaded it to git and we haven't pulled it down so that's what we're gonna do first I'm gonna add everything in the directory commits adding person class and we'll do a git push and now if we refresh the page on GitHub, you can see that the person class is there. But of course, this guy doesn't have it yet because we haven't pulled it down, so I'll do a git pull. And now this guy's got it. So let's say that this guy goes to edit this class, and maybe he wants to do some sort of argument handling or argument validation. So throws a legal argument exception, and we'll say if first name the name that was passed is empty then we'll throw a new legal argument exception saying can't pass empty first name and we'll do the exact same thing with the last name if the last name is empty then we can't pass an empty last name and then finally we'll just modify this constructor to use both of those so this dot set first name Okay, perfect. All right, so this guy has made these changes and we'll say that he has not pushed them up yet. Actually, no, we, we will push them up, sorry. So let's commit those changes. So adding validations to the person class. So we'll push those up. And once again, if we refresh the page, we should see, okay, we've got those validations in there now, perfect. Now, let's say that this guy on this side, he's still got the older version of this class, and he doesn't do a pull, but he starts editing this person class now. So let's say that maybe he changes, maybe he wants to add an age property. So he says, okay, let's do int age, this.age equals age, private int age. All right, so now we've got two different copies of the same class in our repositories. Now this guy is going to try and commit these changes to GitHub, so adding age to person. So I commit and then I try to push. And you can see here that it says that it's rejecting these non-fast forward updates. Basically, it doesn't know how to handle the conflict between these two classes. So what I need to do first is I need to do a git pull. Okay, and you can see here it's trying to auto merge the changes, trying to basically resolve automatically the differences between the copy on GitHub and the copy in my local repository. And it says here that it can't do it. It's got a merge conflict. So I have to fix the conflicts and then commit the result. So let's take a look at the person class and you can see it's added a little bit of markup in here to my class. So this is saying uh, this section here is the head of my local repository whereas this section here was the last commit that it was trying to pull down from GitHub. So we have to go through and manually fix this conflict. So I just have to basically go through and say okay I want to keep the changes that that guy made so I'll put them up here and I'll delete those two lines and I want to keep my age changes and so we'll just delete the rest of this and it looks like we have resolved the conflict now we still have the changes that that other person checked in for uh, adding those validations and we still have our own changes to add the age to the class so now when I save that and if I do a git status you can see that it's still showing up under unmerged paths so I have to say git add and I can either say dot add every file or git add person.java. 
and now it's ready to be committed. So I'll just say git commit and it's already filled in the commit log for me. I'm basically fixing the conflicts in person.java. So I commit that, push it up, and it works just fine. And now if we go back to our person class here, you can see that it was properly merged. Okay, so it's, it's not very advanced. Um, it will try to automatically merge when it knows that there's no possibility of a conflict, but when there's something like what we had here, where it didn't know in the constructor, you know, which changes, which lines to keep and which lines to get rid of, then it basically just tells you, okay, you have to do it manually. And so finally, just to finish it off, if I pull it down in here, then you can see that everything's good. We now both have the same copy of the class. All right, so I hope that uh, clarifies merge conflict resolution in Git.